Okay, so finally I've got to the point where I can test my lovely, uh, lovely uh, wiring. So let me just quickly show you, it's going to be very uh, raw um, explanation, but this is a very briefly the schematic I've made. And obviously this is, this is what we got in here. So now what we are going to be testing is that this is my aquarium here, okay? So that's my aquarium. If it's um, lit, that means that um, we've got the power supply, okay? Now, this is where the aquarium will be connected to, okay? So that's, that's our live block, that's our um, neutral block. Now, this item here, that will uh, simulate the generator and and obviously that cable here which is connected to the plaque um, to the mains is going to be simulating our main power supply that's our main switch and uh, yeah and everything should works now this is our the UPS now it's very small UPS, but all that UPS does is to powering the timer. That's all it. That's all it does. Okay, and it will be keep doing this until the generator kicks in. So the idea is that when everything operates on the on the main power supply, everything is fine. The moment the power supply shuts down we want the generator to kick in. Also, we want to have a, some form of protection in case the, the, the power supply comes back up. Uh, we don't want the do two supplies to kind of fight, fight with each other because there might be a, an issue. Also, we don't want the power supply for the generator to go back to the, um, to the main supply because obviously that might cause the, uh, the other issues. So we've got a, a kind of multiple protections, but let's, let's start first, okay? So we've got a, our aquarium, so at the moment it's not working. Now our uh, generator is off, that will be our generator on, okay? So at the moment it's off, please disregard these cables, this is just a temporary, it's not going to be connected because that normally will go directly to the generator. It's just I don't want to do it at the moment because this is like a uh, this is like a first uh, first check. So let's go. Uh, well, let's go to our main supply. So we're gonna power on and now it's working. So the moment the power was connected, the timers are now on. Now the aquarium is off, but it's gonna come on in a second. Let me hold it here, oh, there you go. So now the aquarium is on and it's gonna be on as long as we turn the power off. Okay, now obviously at the setup, we need to make sure that our UPS is actually on. Okay, so now it's on. And that's it. This is how we're gonna leave it. Now what we need to remember that our generator comes on and comes off by the volt-free contact. And this is where we've got uh, this is where we've got M8 and M6. So these two are responsible for generator to come on and come off. And this is important. Now, the way that works is they making the contact closed for three seconds every 15 seconds. 
this is uh, the, the reason for that is uh, because I've noticed that this generator sometimes when I press it and release it it tried to start up but it doesn't so then it stops so then I need to press it again um, so this is the reason why we've got this continuously uh, pressing the button every 15 seconds in case it doesn't start up for the first time or the second or the third and it'll be keep going keep doing this un, um, until the battery in a, in a UPS uh, goes off and obviously that will be uh, that will be then uh, a disaster for the aquarium if, if I'm not around uh, but that's that's what it is so the timer now the moment the power goes off the UPS kicks in, it will power the timer and the timer will be sending signal to the generator to come on. Now at that stage, everything else is switched off, okay? There is just no power anywhere. So the moment the, uh, the timer kicks in and it will bring the generator on, then after a few seconds the power comes on to the aquarium and it'll stay so at the moment we still have the aquarium working okay so now we're going to simulate that the power goes off and we're going to simulate that by just turning the power the main power off in here obviously for the, the purpose of this experiment uh, my power supply here is actually on because I need to bring this power supply uh, to my um, uh, simulated uh, generator, okay? But what is important that from this point, anything below, this is what actually powers the aquarium, okay? So when I shut this down, that power goes off and the, the process will, will start. So let me go slightly higher. So we're going to so we're going to shut this down and then the UPS kicks in, it will power the timer and then from the timer I'm going to have to manually turn that on. So here we go. The aquarium is gone. The UPS is now beeping, indicating that there is no power supply, but in here you should be able to see M8 timer flashing. And I'm gonna keep it here. Maybe you can hear when the, when the relay actually makes it. No, just done it. Okay, I hope that will be, uh, you will be able to hear this. So now we're going to turn on the generator. And here we go. The aquarium is back and running. Yeah. What's happening now? we've completely isolated the main power supply, okay? Now the, the UPS will be working, I mean, will be beeping constantly because it doesn't sense the power supply. Although that UPS is now no longer supplying power to that timer because it's been disconnected because we don't want that, okay? So none of the timer is working our generator is working, providing the supply to our uh, aquarium, and that will last as long as I have a petrol in the, uh, in the generator. Now, what's gonna happen now if the power supply comes back on? So obviously, as you can see, the generator is still working, right? So it's still producing 230 volts into our system. And then at that time, we're gonna bring the power supply back on and see what happened. Now, bear in mind, our aquarium is still working. I'm gonna press that on. Now our aquarium's gone and you can see 
the other timer, which is this one, will be keep beeping, well, beeping, sorry, will be keep flashing to disconnect our generator. So at the moment, nothing will happen and there is no power supply until our generator goes off. So we turn it off. And now the moment the generator goes off, the aquarium comes on immediately. So yeah, so the next stage will be to connect this up to our aquarium and see how it goes.